On March 30, 1818, Jean-Pierre Boyer took the oath of presidency, one day after his mentor Alexander Pétion, succumbed to the yellow fever disease. Boyer's main goal at the time was to unify the whole island, in order to withstand any other foreign invasions. In 1820, the first part of his plan would be completed, after King Henri Christophe in the north, died by way of suicide. Boyer took the opportunity to unify the north part of Haiti, with the south, and created the Republic of Haiti. On February 1822, the second part of his plan would be fulfilled. After civil war broke out on the Spanish side of Haiti, many politicians and military officers, favored annexation with the Republic of Haiti for protection. President Jean-Pierre Boyer, annexed Spanish Haiti, or the Dominican Republic with little resistance. He was handed the key to the city, by the former governor, Nunez de Caceres. Boyer believed Haiti had to be acknowledged, as an independent nation, and that this could be established, only by cutting a deal with France. This idea was not popular among the rest of the nation, but Boyer went against his advisors, and concocted the plan. On July 11, 1825, Boyer signed an indemnity treaty, stipulating that Haiti, would pay France, a certain amount of money to compensate, for the lost property, in slaves and trade, in exchange, for formal diplomatic recognition of its independence. Boyer became increasingly unpopular, even more after he introduced the code rural policy in the whole island. This policy was intended to drive up the economy through agriculture, unfortunately, the peasants, and farmers, felt like they were right back in slavery. Despite several grievances, President Boyer continued his rule as he see fit, by awarding land to Haitian military officers, at the expense of former members of the Spanish forces of Santo Domingo. Boyer reduced his influence with the Spanish Haitian leadership. He forbid the use of Creole, and Spanish among the population, French was to be spoken at all times. Boyer even ignored Haitian political opponents, who called for reforms, such as parliamentary democracy, and veteran generals of the War of Independence, who believed that the revolution was not complete, and that they were being neglected. During Boyer's rule, the wealth gap between the elites, and the rest of the population, grew significantly. Boyer started to recruit free black immigrants, from the United States to the Republic of Haiti, while ignoring the citizens on the island. After the poor economic situation, was worsened by an earthquake, that hit both Spanish, and French side of the island, the rest of the government had enough. A coup was orchestrated by Boyer's own nephew, Jean-Pierre Boyer Vazelay, and another army officer, by the name of Charles Riviera Rard. While fighting to maintain control of Haiti, President Boyer received another blow, as the Spanish side of the island, decided to take advantage of the situation, and declared their independence. President Boyer, fought both French, and Spanish side for over a year. Many Haitian officers, joined with the Spanish officers, and fought Boyer, on both ends. Being overwhelmed by the two sides, on February 13, 1845, Boyer, and his officers fled Haiti to nearby Jamaica. He eventually settled in exile in France, where he died in Paris in 1850.